Most children laugh and eat cake when they're nine. But Emma is different, her story unkind. Her tormented father serves wet gruel and grime and watches her eat it to pass by the time. Emma imagines a world based in colour where dreams are not nightmares and children don't suffer. Unaware of his presence, her father creeps closer. His crooked hands shake as he bears down upon her. A menacing laugh, he drags her small body, the length of the floor and out to the lobby. She's forced up the stairs to the top of the tower. His grip too hard, she's struck by his power. He throws her inside on the dark, cold, wet floor, looks down upon her, and slams the old door. In times of despair, the mind starts to wander. Emma finds a small light and looks up around her. What sadness she has has now broken away. Around her are objects in colourful splay. She finds an old camera to capture her dreams. And one by one, she creates all the scenes. She creates new worlds as she pulls on the strings of puppets in love and concerts in spring. She watches her film. Her heart starts to cope. The darkness subsides. As Emma sleeps, imprisoned on high, two boys out playing aim rocks to the sky. They turn to the tower in a moment more daring. The stone splits the wood. They laugh beyond caring. Emma rushes to see, to shout and to scream. Please, somebody save me from this cruel and dark dream. She looks through her spyglass and to her dismay. The children can't hear her. They've run away. Far from defeated, ideas start to spread. She looks out the hole and sees an old shed. A plan starts to hatch to escape from her captor. She grabs a dark cloak and starts the first chapter. <coughs> day turns to night and night back to day. The world turns outside while she slaves away. The children come back to cause some more trouble. They search for more stones amongst all the rubble. Before the first rock is released with some power, a white beam of light is seen from the tower. The children point as images form. The old shed ignites and starts to transform. A story of woe, despair and neglect. The two young children start to accept the small young girl they can see on the screen is locked in the tower, calling out to be seen. Emma thinks that it's worked. She can see the boys stare, but she knows the real truth even if they do care. They must face her father in the dead of the night. But wait, they've run away in a fright. Emma slumps to the wall, head hung in her hands to battle the fall. A life imprisoned whilst others run wild. She wishes to laugh like any young child. But wait, there is more. The plot starts to thicken. Whilst Emma is crying, the door is twice stricken. The door slowly opens with sickening groans. The father appears to break soft young bones. Stupid children who throw these damn rocks. If I catch them now, I'll put heads on small blocks. But all of a sudden, the rope takes the slack. The father is swept from his feet to his back. His legs tied with the rope, a small key hits the floor. Grabbing the key, they run past through the door. Up the staircase, they run to the top. Placing the key in the old rusty lock. Emma's released. She's finally free. They rush down the stairs in order to flee. Emma runs past her father. Not a word is spoken. She's grabbed by the arm 
and escapes to the open. <laughs>